We started, I think, November in 2009. We were invited by Nathan and Holly Hunstable. Saw a sign on uh, 1709 that this preacher likes to dance, and they invited us, and we came and enjoyed it, and came back ever since. Right before we started coming to Keystone, um, I found out that I had cancer, breast cancer, and um, we did surgery and the chemo and all that, and I was about a month out of chemo whenever we started coming here. You know, just started trying to live our life, you know, after cancer, and um, we went through adoption with our son, and um, he's four, and that adoption was finalized in October. And so um, after October of this last year, I mean, it was strange. Like, we felt for the first time we weren't in a struggle. It was the weirdest feeling. Like, we were just, like, had a calm. And then um, the next month in November, um, right before Thanksgiving, I went uh, to the doctor, and um, we found out that the cancer came back um, and that it came back in my brain and my lungs and my lymph nodes. And that next night, um, our community group, our, our friends, they came and prayed over us. And, um, and then that next week, um, my girlfriends, um, my heart friends, they uh, asked me to go out to dinner with them. And I went out to dinner with them and um, they, they gave me this card and um, they gave me this bracelet, and it says, it says, be brave. And all the girls had it on. And they told me that this, you know, that they were my sisters and that they were gonna walk alongside me and um, they were gonna cry with me when I wanted to cry and they were gonna celebrate in our victories. And, um, and then they just started overwhelming us, telling us um, all the things, all the plans that they had already made for us um, to help raise money for us. They, um, they had planned a poker night. Like, what church plans a poker night to, <laughs> to raise money? And um, they had a garage sale, um, and then they made t-shirts that said, fighting cancer like a boss, <laughs> and uh, had scripture on it. And um, you know, they told me that they had all these plans and, and they did them. Without us even asking, they did it. And our friends have raised over $30,000 for us to pay for all the things that we've needed. It's been amazing. It's kind of strange. Last night, um, we found out that uh, my cancer is, is growing. And um, they found some more tumors in my brain. But um, Keystone has helped to make this life so much sweeter. And it makes me sad to, to think about leaving this life. But at the same time, like, Keystone has um, given me hope and um, shown me that this life isn't what it's about and I'm holding on to his promise and I know that if I'm not healed on this side that I will be healed on the other side and I just there's a peace about it and I can honestly say I have I have no fear of of death like God has taken that from me and given us just a real peace about that He's been preparing us. You know, he's been preparing us by bringing us to Keystone. I feel like he's been preparing me just, just for battle. I mean, preparing me physically and preparing me um, spiritually. And um, I know that Keystone's been a huge part of that.